Not Gunner, the only one on hard tires. There's five lights on here in Belgium. It's a short run down towards turn one. The lights go out and they are off. And it looks like Tuna Time did get the ideal start compared to everyone else. Never mind. Breezy is trying to swing it around the outside of turn one. And Tuna Time got a bit locked. Uh, caught the up. Are probably going to be fighting down in towards the end of the Camel straight at the chicane. I forget what that turn is called again. Please bear with me. Terrible commentary happening here as I do believe there's a battle happening. Cred is holding on against Notorious Jelly. As we see the Red Bull there. Left. It looks like actually Silver may have uh, had a bit of an accident. But other than that. Oh, what is that? There's an Aston Martin just sitting in the middle of the track. What are you doing there? That would appear to be the Aston Martin of Cred. Who had a pretty good start. But no, getting maybe con. going for a movie shouldn't have. Or potentially mm. just dropping it. As oh. we see. Oh, we see that's the Alpha Tower of Brian Burns getting way loose. And going off the track, and that gives a spot to Notorious Jelly. So I'm pretty sure that's Jelly. As Bit of action here yeah, at the back as well, oh, yeah. too. Wow. And then don't go side by side. And there's Notorious Jelly out somewhere. We'll oh. find it right there to the left. You can see up and two. Jelly at Eau Rouge. Yep. That's going to be safe. And virtual oh safety car. Oh, my. For the Williams driver. It's the Southern Williams driver of Doctor Who. It's all over the back of Brian Burns. Trying to use every single inch of this track. Looking everywhere. To try and get around the Alpha Tauri, not finding room quite yet. It's an Alpha Tauri sandwich. Very, very loose going up Eau Rouge, and Freeway 5 is gaining a whole house of time. So this might be an overtake on the move. Is Freeway going to burn a little bit of that overtake button to try and get close? It doesn't look like it. Keeping it cool. Cooler heads prevailing at the moment. The DRS it was active. It's looking pretty, pretty spicy. You look at the Ferrari. Brian Burns Ferrari. right now, you just wait for your opportunity because you see the Ferrari just ran away from you a bit at the top of Radion. So you're not burning your overtake button. You want to save that. You want to save that ERS for when it, it counts. Better grip on the exit of corners right now that the doc just can't quite deal with as we go on board with Capsule right now. And Capsule is all over the back of Edville's car going around the outside of Blanchima is the Ferrari going way off the track, sir. That was very if he could have gotten a better run through Radio, which he didn't. But now we got Enviable Scarf who's going to try and come back at Expulse or Capsule, my bad. In oh, going a bit wide. Getting way too much on that curb for my liking to where it's safe, but you know what? Never you saying anything in the chat, so we call it what it is, but it looks like Dara. Oh, As, there he is. Says, oh, great heavens. That is Kuridamo, Kuridamo facing all kinds of not the right way at the exit. Oh, you, you said the name of that turn. I forget it. What was that? Oh, quicker one? tires. So now is the point where you don't, again, you still don't force the issue because you are pitting later and the overcut from medium uh, hards to mediums is way better than the undercut from mediums to hards. You know, Breezy makes a mistake and just wants to make it easier for Tuna Time that way. But Tuna Time knows he's quicker at the current moment. Not going to try and... Oh, but that's Adi. a spulse in a wall. <laughs> that's a Fadadi off in the wall. Oh, great heavens. And that that's was almost odd just because the location... Oh, massive more... accident. Oh, that's, that's Capsule doctor. and Doctor, I think. No, yeah, it's, it's Shotgun. It's... Yeah, no, it's... Uh... Let's see, Shotgunner is uh, pulling Who away, Doctor Who drops down Three to a battle, really, at this point. That is very unfortunate, that tuna time, or uh, that Breezy just sped into the pits, my bad, as Enviable Scarf is going through turn one. Enviable Scarf almost just passed by a bunch of them, but that is Breezy, tuna time, and J-Boy. Oh, boy, J-Boy <laughs> looking back. Here we go. The safety car is in, and we are underway once again here at Spa Francochon. We have nine laps to go here in the Arden Forest. It's yellow flag sector three, but that's just because we're getting going once again. And it's J Boy, J Boy, leading the way in the Red Bull as Strimmer is stopped in the bus stop chicane. Getting going again, and Tuna Time is wasting no time making up positions. That is the other McLaren of silver down a spot as Tuna Time is going to be a weapon at the back end of this race that Alfa Romeo is now up into P3 and it's an FP2 as well because remember Freeway 5 does have that 3 oh. second time penalty as Expulse Ooh, that was a reset to it. track Need to, that one. he has the straight line speed over J-Boy this is going to get very interesting through Blanchemont this Mercedes versus Fine, Red Bull well once again but this time <laughs> it's the it. Mercedes is <laughs> chasing the Red Bull Freeway 5 all over the we're back of the red a decent launch. I don't think DRS is enabled yet, as once again we're seeing Tuna Time dive it down the inside of turn one, trying to get a run. Ooh. And there's contact oh. between him and Doctor Who. That was <laughs> that was a little bit naughty from the Williams driver. Positions man. at the end of the Campbell Straight. That is Shotgunner. That's uh, Brian Burns out of Shotgunner. My bad. But Tuna Time does get ahead of Doctor Who 
And the end, after what was a very interesting turn one defense tactic from the Williams driver, but we'll let it slide for now, so I guess. end of, 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 uh, of uh, Puan, that was actually very interesting, but it turns to the inside for Campus, and what a move by Breezy, that was flying around Silver every which way, that was very, That was very Doctor Who in the background, just getting out of the way of Breezy, I do believe. Yeah, there it was, we see this position stop between the Williams drivers. Going into La Source. So now there's going to be DRS happening down the Camel Strait as we see a lot of. Let's see, boy, get the position back. And here comes Enviable Scarf down the inside freeway. Actually holds it round very nicely. That was a very nifty move, but it's not done yet because Enviable Scarf got a nose in there and through no name. This time, freeway gives way. Enviable Scarf is in gets change to the time. Right, now make it a run, of course. Oh, uh, that was very, very close and risky from between Tuna Time and Shotgun right there, but Tuna Time does ultimately get the position back once again. But yeah, also, I lied, uh, Enviable Scarf does have a win already this season. Oh, so carbon fiber oh, everywhere. That's going to be a safety wing. car, a virtual safety car at least. There is a virtual safety car deployed as Freeway 5 drops it and drops all the way out of the points, and I don't think there's quite enough time Did left. Did Tuna time to spin yes. under virtual safety under car? Under virtual safety car, Tuna has. Oh my, oh my. That is, uh, uh, Shimmered just did the naughty thing, crossed the pit exit. Right now, he's got the black and white flag being shown. So, uh, well, they give you three warnings, don't they, in a Formula 1, in F1 yeah. 22 game, you get two. So Enviable Scarf is third in the championship. Don't unleash him. He's got no penalties. He's got better boots. Finally. Oh, there he goes. They're, they're, no, they're battling, mate. They're battling. Oh, they're, they're still fighting. The yeah. Alpha Tauris fighting tooth and nail for every single inch. Still the Alpha Romeo. All he has to do is stay within three seconds of J-Boy come the end of the race. And Alpha Romeo will be sipping Victor Champagne on the podium at the end of this race. J-Boy. At this point, just hoping and get back through to P7. So good, decent recovery drive from the Ferrari driver after a spin earlier, I And believe. still the uh, Aston, well, the Alpha Tauri is like, God, can't decide what's going on here. Shock, because here's what's going on. I believe Shotgunner's quicker. Burning all the overtake button. It's a defense from J-Boy. It's round the outside, Enviable Scarf. And it does look like even though they're wheel to wheel, right now the advantage lies with Enviable Scarf. They're going still side by side and down in. Oh, that was very clean from Enviable Scarf. J-Boy trying to get a nose in there. It doesn't work. And by the time they get to no name, it's Enviable Scarf in the lead on track of this Belgian Grand Prix. That's what he wanted to do. Five didn't seconds he? behind. They lost a whole lot of time But J-Boy's coming back, mate, as well. Look at this. The Red Bull's yeah, not we giving up. Red Bull will not give up as there is going to be two laps to go across the line this time. It's Enviable Scarf versus J-Boy for the win. Battery left, and that's going to be all he needs to put it around the outside. Down the Kemmel straight is J-Boy back into the lead on track in this Belgian Grand Prix. But with that three-second time penalty, it's still Enviable Scarf's race to lose. Then but Enviable in Scarf for Alfa Romeo takes the W. And it's been a wonderful race for that man. Wrap that scarf tightly around your neck. You deserve a nice, warm... Actually, it's probably a nice, cool... Oh, man, that is well-deserved champagne right there. Good on you, lad. Yep, Sabo are back. They're back in style. Alpha, man. That's a... Uh, that's how you scarfs.